What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a flip cup, but while I was at the Fluid Art Boutique, Mina taught me a really interesting thing and she's challenged me to not use silicone. So there's no silicone in any of these colors. So let's talk about the colors. Golden colors, permanent, violet, dark, pyrrole, orange, turquoise, thalo, and clinacronome, nickel, azo, gold. The gold I'm using is Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. And the white is an Amsterdam titanium white. All these colors are mixed with Mina's recipe specifically. I will put this in the description below so you guys can see it. But with that, let's just start layering these colors. Very excited for this one. So, how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. I think I want to have some subtle layers. As typical, I'm going to start dark and have lights in between. And like I said before, there is no silicone in any of these colors. It is just pouring medium, Floetrol, and paint. I will show you on the screen really quick the painting that Mina and I did together. It came out amazing. There's this little details in it. And on the painting itself is also after it was brought to my attention that there was a skull in it, I can't unsee the skull. Can you guys see the skull? Let me know in the comments. If you see something different, what is it that you see? All right. So I'm just trying to gradiate these colors, right? I have white, but I don't want to use a lot of it. I kind of just want to use it just as a contrasting color. All right. This turquoise phthalo next to this white looks phenomenal. So I might layer white on top and below it and see what we can get out of it. Now this pyro orange, it's such a beautiful color. It's almost like a fluorescent orange. It is gorgeous, you guys. But it's actually warming up here in Detroit. So I'm super excited that the winter is just about over. I think it's gonna be in like the 70s this week. So that is very exciting for me. Man, 24 karat gold, just the shimmer and shine. You can already see kind of some cells coming up and that has to be from the Floetrol because like I said, there's no silicone in these. Mina wanted me to try to do less pours with silicone and she's right. So once again, stepping outside my comfort zone, but it is okay. You know what? I'm gonna layer a little bit more of this pyro orange over this white, see if we can get some kind of a subtle gradient there. I think it'd be really cool. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this. Some of that kind of churned through, which is cool because I really like the turquoise thalo as it intermingles with the white. It creates some really cool stuff. A nice layer of that. And we got this Azo Gold. It's a really beautiful color when it is mixed with other colors. I feel like Azo Gold needs kind of some very specific other colors to really shine, if that makes sense. All right, so let me just put a little tiny bit of orange here just to top that one off. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of a white base coat down 
and then put some gold on top of it because that was a little trick that Mina had done at the Fluid Art Boutique. And I think I know why. I think typically the 24 karat gold from Extreme Sheen, it, is very, it helps a lot with creating cells. So if it's at the bottom of all the layers, I think that it will be awesome. So now is the splat test, <laughs> right? Because we have paint on there. All right, so one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so maybe, yeah, that was a lot of paint, you guys. But you're already seeing some of that gold pushing through and creating some really cool cells, which is, that's always the exciting part for me. So I just can't wait to flip this over because the, you're seeing the transparency with a little bit of that really deep purple underneath, that uh, permanent violet dark. So we'll do a couple taps, tappy taps. And let it go. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? That is stunning. I love this really delicate wave and band of light right there. Not particularly caring much about that. This, I know I'm gonna try to get off. I kinda like what's going on over here. But yeah, these colors are amazing together. I mean, look at what the gold is doing in all of these little colors here. It's creating that little bit of lacing. It's really pretty. So I'm going to apply a little bit of heat, see if the heat does anything to it besides pop bubbles. If nothing else, this is just to pop some bubbles. No, we're getting cells. Oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. And the orange is pushing through. Goodness. All right, so that was that, right? That was the heat gun. I wonder if a torch will do anything different. I got a little bit of bubbles here, so maybe I could get rid of those. That's really the only reason I'm using the torch right now, because some of the bubbles are a little stubborn. All right, and the bubbles didn't do anything or the, uh, the torch didn't do anything really crazy, so we're good with that. All right, I think we're ready. I love this little pattern we have going on, so let me kind of get this shifting. All right, I know what I want to keep. And I know what I'm okay losing. I do want to anchor that corner. Look at that turquoise, just, it's lightening up so much as it gets stretched. And I know that I didn't like that deep brown color, so we'll get that off. Oh, wow. That's beautiful, you guys. Let's take some of that off, and then we're just gonna bring it back. I really like what's going on in that corner, so I'm gonna try to save as much of that as I can. Wow. This has so much depth to it. I really like this violet space, because it's quite transparent. Would you just look at that? That is phenomenal looking. That gold added so much shimmer and shine to all the colors. And I'm already seeing some really cool cell activity popping up. And I know it's just gonna intensify as this piece continues to settle. Those cells are just gonna continue to kind of pop up randomly. 
but yeah, there's some really interesting lines and transparencies going, going on in this flow here. I absolutely love this one. So I want to bring you guys down so you can see what it looks like now. The cells are going to continue to develop and then we'll come back and there'll be the dry version. So this is the wet version. I have the flash on so you can see all the little gold metallic just shimmer going on in here. We have a lot of tiny little cells even since I stopped recording that have already started kind of pushing their way through which is making this really cool looking effect. It almost looks like a galaxy to me but Beautiful. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.